recipe development in a product development setting is based more in structure. Uh, most of the things that we do, uh, it's, it's more about using very specific ingredients, weighing everything so that we make sure we have consistency uh, time after time. I'm Candice Rambert. I'm the culinary technologist here at the Food Innovation and Research Studio. I'm also a classically trained chef. So recipe development in a restaurant is different than recipe development in product development because restaurant chefs don't have to worry about a long shelf life. Our challenge in product development is making sure a recipe goes on the shelf and can last for months. For us, we have to use very particular ingredients with particular specifications. In terms of structure in a product development kitchen, we make sure that everything is weighed and we're using uh, very precise volumes. This is something that is standard practice across the industry where you at home may not, may just use a heaping tablespoon of something, but I need to make sure that we have a proper weight for those ingredients. At the end of the day, we want our recipes and our products to be repeatable every time so that someone at home can take the recipes and have confidence in their own kitchen. Because we see all these novel ingredients, it's always challenging me to think outside of the box and use the science part of my brain as well as my culinary side of the brain. Innovation in food is really subjective. Many times it's food trends. First needs to be very responsive to the needs of clients so that we can help them become first to market or take advantage of an opportunity that they see or that we see. Food trends are always changing and we try to keep on top of them, going to events, big trade shows, trying the new food products. That is one of my favorite parts of my job. Um, being able to see what's, what's coming out, tasting prototypes sometimes. Food trends are always changing, but it's important to stay on top of them, and our team, I think, does a great job of that. Most of our projects that come through the door have a nutrition driver. The trends in Canada right now are geared more towards nutrition. So people want lower fat, they want high protein, they want low sodium. Uh, so those are some of the challenges that we face with working with large companies. Say you work at a large global company, you're typically working on one category of food and that's all you learn about for that set period of time. Whereas at first we're working with multiple industry partners with tons of different types of products, beverages. So there's a lot of diversity in my role in solving those challenges related to each of those specific products. So I really like the opportunity that I have to learn new things based on each different type of product. I always knew that I needed to become a chef. Ever since I was a kid in the kitchen, I would be curious about what was going into the pot and just looking at everything that my mom was doing. One of the fondest memories was baking. In fact, that's how she taught me how to learn my fractions. She invited me into the kitchen, gave me a little stool, and had I brought out the bowls and the measuring cups and, and worked with me to make some cookies. So while I thought I was making just chocolate chip cookies, I was in fact learning about my third of a cup and three thirds of a cup makes one cup and a half a cup and two tablespoons and the most important part and the part that I take the most pride in is knowing that I am making a contribution to the nutritional landscape of Canadians.